What's up, what's up everybody? It is the start of another week, and that means it's time to look at the exciting Steam games. <laughs> the exciting Steam games. It's only sometimes exciting, and sometimes it's what the f what is going on with these games. But it's time to look at some more games that are uh, coming out this week, the first week of first ish week of January, first slash second in in betwixt the first and second weeks of January. So let's see, uh, let's see what's going on. First game we have is let's jump, let's jump right into it. The first game we have is Pony Island. Uh, Pony Island is a suspense puzzle game in disguise. You are in limbo, trapped in a malevolent and malfunctioning arcade machine devised by the devil himself. It is not a game about ponies. Oh God. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> the fuck is going on? Oh, pony lizards, yes. That this is such a trippy game. This is going to be huge. People are going to pick this up and they're going to be like, what is going on? There's going to be a lot of people playing this. Available January 4th. This is... The next... I don't know if it's the next Undertale. It's just because it looks like it doesn't mean it's the next Undertale. But... It's... There's going to be a lot of people playing this game. A lot of, a lot of the YouTubers playing this game. I can see it now. I can already see it. You're like, what is going on? What is going- this is really, really trippy. Alright, so this is Pony Island, number number one. It's nice to see, it's nice to see something creative. Uh, this was originally created for Ludum Dare 31. Theme entire game on one screen. How's it on one screen, though? It's different screens. I don't know, I don't know, whatever's. Whatever's. Alright, we have for this game. Second game, Linea the Game. Purpose of the game is to survive more than 60 seconds on each level. Dodging platforms and objects, listening bit pop soundtracks for levels. Four levels, online records, achievements, and trading cards are waiting for you. Dude, I, I love the music. The music is awesome. I don't know if I like the game, but the music is good. I like the music. Okay, Linea the game. Linea, the, I think we basically saw what this is. In like one, this is this is entire screen in one game, or entire game in one screen. Okay, so this is a uh, release date January fourth. All right, what is the next one? Goo Cubelets, the algorithm. The algorithm. Okay. Billions of years ago in a faraway galaxy, living organisms were combined with the Goo Nebula formula, and the algorithm was created. Time has passed, and the algorithm remained incomplete. You were given a chance to solve the last 50 equations, but be careful, even a small mistake. I don't know, it doesn't say anything. Okay, can we go... What is... What exactly is this game? Let's go back. Let's go back to the trailer. Be ready to face the final equation. Okay, so this is um. There was a game for the original PlayStation that was like this, I guess. Oh, the chosen one. I guess. Okay, LOLs. Okay, so that was a that was a project. Basically, it was a project from a student in school, and now it's on Steam. Don't you love how Steam works? Actually, no, it's you know you know I'm 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 talking shit. I'm like, don't you love how Steam works? They just let anyone do it. But I, yeah, that is good. That is good to let anyone put games on Steam. That's good because we wouldn't have a lot of these. Good guy. Well, I don't know if this one's like the one that I would call like, oh my god. It's uh, available January 4th. But, 
Uh, do we see this? Contract is up. We might have seen this already. No, we didn't. It just looks like something we saw already. Contract is a side-scrolling shooter in which you must shoot, hack, and massacre your way past armed guards, security systems, and other challenges in order to reach your targets. You play as a man blackmailed into the art of assassination by the kidnappers of his brother. So it's an 80s action movie turned 80... Is it more 80s or 90s action movie? With point-and-click elements in it. Side-scrolling pixel art with point-and-click elements. Or Earlements. Earlements! That doesn't look too bad. Available January 5th. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't look too bad. I mean it looks like very, very, very simple, but it doesn't I like I like the point and click elements. That Hopefully ho hopefully there's more to it than that. Hopefully there's like some kind of point and clicky style and this isn't just about like your stats. If it's just about your stats then it's like uh okay, but hopefully it's about more than that. Solving dim puzzles. Yo, walk the light. A unique puzzle game where you control a mysterious light source to help Charlie escape the caverns. He's been trapped and use an assortment of light shapes to tackle each puzzle set before you. Overcome traps and pits to reach the exit of each stage. Available on Mac and Windows. A 2D puzzle platformer. There was... What's the other one? No, there's... This is... This is a copy of something. There... No, there was... Uh, there was another one that came out that was like this. What was it? It was something. It was... <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. It came out like a year a year ago, I think? I don't know. I probably own it. But I'm not logged in. I'm in the browser. Okay. So we've seen this before. It's got that Super Nintendo style graphics. If this if this turns out that the gameplay is like addictive, like the way the mechanics are, this could be like a really fun game. So, I'm not crazy about the graphics on the actual character. They seem kind of bland, but but I like the rest of it. I, I don't, you know, you know I love Super Nintendo. If you don't know, I love Super Nintendo. So there. Dungeons are random. Dungeons are random is a fast-paced roguelike game where everything is meant to be generated as randomly as possible While still being enjoyable as a game. It is a mix of roguelike and action RPG game You improve your hero by running around and fighting monsters while venturing endless randomly That's dungeons are random it basically says exactly what it is, okay Wait, was he naked? Okay, so this is a game that I would not like. This it's one of it's one of those rage quit games that is meant to just kill you over and over and over and over again and you don't know what the hell is going on. E probably not my cup of tea. Speaking of cups of tea. <sighs> Delicious. Delicious. It actually is tea, though. It is tea. Because I'm British today. Hello, mate. Hello, governor. I know someone British is watching. It's like, that's a horrible, horrible, horrible <laughs> British impression. You can't just say, hello, governor, and then all, all of a sudden be British. That's not how it works, Jew Bagel. All right. From orange juice comes a shoot from orange juice? I don't think... I guess if you sit orange juice next to a computer, it starts coding video games. From orange juice comes a shoot 'em up starring the uh, starring the lone enhanced human Sora. The sequel of the Kingdom Hearts. The sequel of the high speed shoot 'em up Sh Suguri. Suguri with improved game system and graphics. Controls are good. And ooh. 
Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. It's a... Uh, it is a shooter game. With Asian girls. So I think there's a lot of those, aren't there? Shooter, shooter, Asian-y shooter games. All right, we have Kelly's Caves 3. Uh, the other one was available uh, January 5th. Kelly's Caves 3. So there's been two other ones of these. Kelly's parents have been abducted to her arch enemy. Herbert has taken control of the caves to perform his evil experiments. Join Kelly and her friends in his action-packed run and gun platformer. Conquering insane bosses, exploring to find secrets, and leveling up everything. More Super Nintendo style games. Oh my god, guys. This is a fucking Kung Fu. Oh my god, that was a Kung Fu bear. This one I like. It looks a little cooler than the other one. Kelly's Caves. Available January 5th. This looks cool. It's like Chick Mega Man. Alright, that looks like actually pretty good, I think. I think it looks pretty good. Available January 5th. January 5th. We got a lot of games today. We had like nothing last week. A wild cat girl appears. Wait, this was a game already. Wasn't it? A wild no, 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 never mind, it wasn't. A wild cat girl appears is a short romance visual novel featuring multiple routes, 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 uh, different girls to date, and of course, cat girls. You follow the story of Ami, a loner at a high school, a loner at high school, as she joins the school's coding club and sets about making her first video. There's a wait. There's a cat girl that makes a video game. Okay, hold up. Ooh, and for and for phones too. I liked I liked that music before. It's a cat girl, but she makes video games. All right. And they have boobs bigger than their head, apparently, because that's everyone has that. Oh no, this one's this this girl's normal. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> screw her. Uh, let's see what's what's next. That one was January fifth. Of course, I have to talk. I have to always talk about boobs. A video where I don't mention boobs. Forget about it. All right. Crazy, b crazy belts. Really? Do you know what happens after check-in? Do you think our luggage is safe in the conveyor belts of the airport? Now you, now you can discover the truth. Crazy belts is a casual puzzle game that tells the amazing story of our bags. <laughs> what? <laughs> and why they end up in distant countries when we leave them in the belts? The fuck is this? Oh, there was a game called um, Tiny Toons Buster Busts Loose. This reminds me a little bit of it, like of one of the one of the levels in that. But really, this is on Steam. Hey guys, this is on Steam. Okay. <laughs> this is no. This game should have been only on phones. I'm disappointed that this game is actually on Steam. I mean, I guess if people like it, then people like it. Doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what I think. I wouldn't buy this on Steam. I would maybe play it on a on a phone. When I'm actually at the airport, I'm like, okay, fun, lol, but why on Steam? I don't know. I guess why not just release your game on everything and see how it does. Worst that, worst that happens is it doesn't uh, sell a whole bunch. Elysium Blood Games. Enter a world of blood, influence, and secrets in this easy-to-learn yet deep strategy. Deep. Strategy sim where you control a group of gladiators, guiding them through combat and competition. Bribe, gamble, and slash your way to an arena championship. Okay, let's see some gameplay. Let's see some not stock footage with... Okay. Let's see some gameplay. Where is the gameplay? This is a... This is a gladiator management game. Is this a gladiator management game? 
Is this really just a gladiator management game? Okay, it's a gladiator management game. I think there's a niche group of people that this could, uh... Wow, that this could, uh... Be interesting to. This is... I feel like this was, like, half-assed in Photoshop, though. I think a lot of indie games are half-assed in Photoshop, though. This is a gladiator management game. All right, Elysium Blood Games, available January 5th. Gladiator management at its finest. Tadpole Trouble. This musical action game tasks players to avoid the notes of the game's music to help a tadpole through her quest. We got this idea from Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I mean, it's, it's not. It's not the same thing, but... It looks like they definitely were playing that game, and they're like, How about, dude, how about there was like a whole game like this? But let's change it up a little bit. The music is awesome. Okay. Someone loved this game while they were developing it. And has a crappy wallet. And has no money. Really? That's awesome. Alright, so it doesn't it says release date 2016, but it's on the list for this week. Alright. Alright. I <laughs> love this soundtrack. There's some good music in the games this week. Good old school music. Yeah! So pimp. So pimptastic. Okay, lift your swords, knock- I didn't even say- read the description. Lift your swords, knock your arrows, and pledge fealty to the Defenders Guild, the free peoples of Faria, and the countless hidden treasure chests of out there awaiting your plunderous mitts. This is so old school Nintendo. It's awesome. I, I would continue, but this is capturing my attention for some reason. This looks pretty cool. I would probably be really, really frustrated and not be able to play this game because I would suck too bad. But it... It looks cool. And maybe it's, the music is doing it for me. I think the music is doing it. The music is sucking me in. Alright, Defenders. It's a weird looking, uh, sure, that's not my birthday, but okay. Nebula Online. Nebula Online is, uh, one of the first truly cross platform, massively multiplayer online games for Windows, Mac, Linus, uh, Linus, <laughs> Linux, iOS, Android, Windows Phone, and Facebook. And Facebook, of course, you can play simultaneously with other players using different devices on one server in one big universe. Nebula Online. Early access game. This looks like it's gonna be, like, pay to win. I get that feeling. Do you guys get that feeling too? 
I get the feeling this is gonna be like a pay to win game. It's very simple, but. Okay, let's check out some more screenshots. Screeny shots. Yeah, I think this is gonna have microtransactions in here. Or I don't, I, I'm not basing that on anything. I just, seems like if I was making a game, I'd be like, oh yeah, let's put microtransactions in this. It's multi-platform. Let's make it free to play with microtransactions. All right. Nebula Online. What's the next one? Age of Steel Recharge. Age of Steel Recharge is a 2D strategy with a view from the side. Okay. You're taking the role of the commander who has entrusted the management of the military base. Your mission is to defend a base from the waves of enemies at any price. Any price, even if it was $75. Or $77. Hold on as much as possible. Is this like a ta weird style of tower defense? Kinda, maybe? Okay. Okay. Looks like a weird style of tower defense game. I mean, not, not weird. I think I've seen... I think I've actually played stuff and own stuff that's like this, but it's been so long. Or I've played it on iOS or something. Cute graphics, though. I like the graphics. I like it. It's awesome. What is next? Squirbs! Squirbs is a challenging puzzle platformer in which you control two cute blue squirbs simultaneously with one set of controls. Looking, looking for an awesomely difficult game, that's Squirbs. Right, so you press right on the controller and both of them move right. You press left, they both move left. Etc, etc. But apparently they don't jump together. It's just the directions. Right? Now, now it does look like they're jumping together. No, they aren't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. I don't know. No, because they weren't jumping together before. No, it's just someone must be pressing the buttons together. It must be different jump buttons. Yeah. And Super Meat Boy. All right. There was another game like this, too. You know, I keep saying there was another game like this, there was another game like that. But this looks really... It's going to be way easier for some than others, if you can handle that whole thinking with... Thinking with the two sides of your brains, alright? If you could think... Whatever. Squirbs. Available January 6th or whenever. Okay. Next, the growth journey. <laughs> Ah, uh, a game about tactical growth, where growth is irreversible. Is this even a game? What the fuck is this? Is this a dirty sperm going through a scrotum? What is this game? What? The growth journey. What the... <laughs> So, your balls grow. <laughs> Again with that. Again. I'm falling asleep. And yay. And <laughs> so if you, if you love modern art, and that's, and you love when balls get big. Okay, play, play the growth journey. <laughs> Available January 2016, but it is on the list for this week. Fairy Tale Mysteries: The Puppet Thief. Discover the. Dis
That's my anus talking. When evil puppeteer kidnaps souls of innocent children, you're assigned your first mission as a, as a Brothers Grimm investigator. Find a way to defeat the malefactor and bring rescue to all in need. Follow the trace of magical events to discover... Oh, it's a hidden object game thing. It's so creepy, I like it. I do. I like creepy. Is that weird? I like creepy games. I like creepy games like the creepy stuff in Final Fantasy VII. I was like, oh my, oh, Drew Baker talking about Final Fantasy VII again. Let's get off this video. Get off this video. He's talking about Final Fantasy VII, that dumb so-and-so. Rain World. Wait, it's a world about rain. And you play as a raindrop. And you have to bounce on things and squirt your juicy rain on things. No, you play as a cat. You are a nomadic slug cat, both predator and prey in a broken ecosystem. Grab your spear and brave the industrial wastes, hunting enough food to survive, but be wary other bigger creatures have the same plan, and slug cats look delicious. Oh, dude, this looks pretty cool. I don't even know what a slug cat is, though. The hell is a slug cat? Half slug, half cat? All action. Half slug, half cat. All man. But not at all man, because he's half slug and half cat. And if you use. These fucking dogs. Oh, I said cat. Is that why? Is that why? Alright. I didn't mean cat. Stop it. Alright. Looks good, though. Oh, dead trails. No, we saw this already. We saw this. And I was like, oh, and then I was like trying to be nice to it. And then I was like, oh, 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 oh. but we saw that already. <laughs> Windlands. This is a game about the crevice between my butt, betwixt my butt cheeks. Windlands. That's what I call them, a first-person grappling hook exploration game. Soar through the ruins of a fallen civilization, which is spelled wrong, and discover the secrets of it. Like, I really should be the one to complain about people spelling things wrong. Uh, discover the secrets of the ancient world. Also includes virtual reality support for the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. Oh my god, all those polygons, I can't even contain my excitement. Actually, I don't, I don't mind games that are like, really blocky. Like this. It's okay. It's okay. Grappling hook exploration game. I would probably, you know what, I would probably play this before I would play like a roguelike dungeon thing that you die every 15 seconds and are frustrated with. I don't know how long I would play this. I would be like, what do I do? Give me give me something to do. Give me a goal. But it'd be fun. This would be pretty cool on the uh, on, uh, Oculus Rift. This would be pretty awesome, I think. And scary. This would be a good way to get over a uh, fear of heights. Is to play this with the Oculus Rift. I need it. Oh, and it's um, it is early access. And this was uh, part of an Indiegogo campaign. Windy Lands, a game about grappling hooks and butt cheeks. Released a January eighth. Chip Tune Champion. Transform your keyboard into an instrument and play along to the melody of catchy chip tunes. In this challenging rhythm game. Really? I'm not holding my keyboard like that.
This is Guitar Hero for people that want to spend three dollars, and I don't know what the pro I can't see what the price is. There's no price information on this. What I'm looking at. <laughs> this is Guitar Hero for people that do not want to spend a hundred dollars on Guitar Hero and want to play with their damn keyboard. If you, I think if you played Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero, you've probably played a better version of this. Maybe. Unless you really, really love chiptunes. Like me. And... You like them more. But it, it's a cheap entry into Guitar Hero. Alright. Which everyone has probably played at this point. Everyone in the world. Even, even grandmas. Ghost Song. Adult Swim Games. If, if I see Adult Swim Games, I'm like, okay, it's gonna be good. The desolate moon of Lorien V is a place of curiosity, history, and terror. Awaken on the surface from a long slumber and explore the winding caverns below to uncover secrets, acquire new abilities, and face powerful foes. I thought it said face powerful toes. I was like, oh man, those gotta be some powerful toes. Maybe got some athlete's foot going on there. Meet the sleepy inhabitants of Lorien V, V for vagina, Lorien Vagina, and hear their tragic stories. Available winter 2015 2016. It's on the list for this week, though. I'm getting like a Metroid vibe. Oh, yeah, now I'm really getting a Metroid vibe. Oh, yeah, it's basically Metroid. Okay, guys, Metroid by Adult Swim Games. If you love Metroid, buy this game. Don't even think twice. It's Adult Swim. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I don't like all their cartoons, though. I will, I will, I will say that. Some of them. Some of them I love. Some of them I'm like, what the fuck is this? Actually, some of the ones that I love, I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Every time I watch an episode of that, I'm like, what the fuck is this? I gotta keep watching, but what the fuck is this? Sniper Tactical. Sniper Tactical is a thinking man's game disguised as a shooter. It's actually a semi real time turn based lemming style pu lemmings type puzzle. The gameplay revolves around bringing hostages to safe zones, in which in turn is done by shooting different types of enemies in correct order. Wow. Dude, this looks pretty cool, actually. I mean, yeah, it's another first person shooter game, but I think it's a little different. I don't think it's it's not just first person shooter like Black Ops and and all that stuff. It's early access. This looks actually pretty good. OP OP models. Okay, his fa his face amazing. Ten out of ten. But uh, no, the game looks interesting though. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Cause I I can kind of feel like I, what I think that they're doing in the game, I'm like, oh, that would be, I would play that. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. And we have... Spokoino. What the fuck is this? Spokoino is a, a Russian visual novel set in the late USSR. This is a story of an average Russian guy named Kirill. The characters are left at the borderline conflict of old and new society. High crime rates, corruption, and a change of morals. Can he survive the new society? This is like the longest intro video ever. With the most nothing. There's... What is... What am I looking at? Okay. That's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. Right. And I'm seeing like no gameplay at all. So these are pictures of characters. Is the game done? I guess it's it's available January 8th, so I don't know why there's nothing really here. Aside from these are all wallpapers. OP. 10 out of 10. Alright. I don't know this <laughs> I don't know. I don't know guys. I'm not too excited about this one. But I also don't know if the game is actually done. It might be like, surprise, January 8th rolls around, they're like, uh, we didn't finish the game. <laughs> I don't know. But if you love Russian mob stuff, 
Uh, no, average average Russian guy named Kirill. And he needs to survive. It's just you're playing as a Russian Russian guy. So which which Russian guy? Are you this this guy? This guy? She's actually a guy. Don't be don't be fooled by the boobs. She's a guy. I know it. I seen I seen the the twig and berries. I seen it. I seen it on you porn. Same one. Yep. This girl. Yep. Sorry there. All right, guys. All right. Oh, did you bagel watch his training porn? Oh, good to know. Oh God. What did I just start? All right, guys. I'll leave you with that. I'll leave you with that at the end of the video. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Best video ever. I don't even want to know the comment section. <laughs> Disabled comments for this video. Uh, Alright guys. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We had some fun. We looked at some new games that are coming out. It's, there was a lot this week. It was like 25 games coming out this week. Something like that. 20-25 games. So, some of them look pretty good. Some of the 2D, uh, Side scrolling games look pretty good, but uh, but yeah, hope you guys are excited about some of them. And I'll see you next. I'll see you next week, next video, whenever. I'll see you whenever, whenever you feel like clicking on another video. How's that? All right, I'll see you later.